The Young Dundas area in downtown Toronto can resemble a three-ring circus. Street performers, costume superheroes, Elvis impersonators, you name it. But recently, when Dore Shepherd Love, an evangelical street preacher, dropped by to spread the gospel and to criticize Islam, well, suddenly freedom of expression on the sidewalks of Toronto took an abrupt right turn into the twilight zone. Well, I'm with Dore Shepherd Love. He's an evangelist. He does street preaching here at near the corner of uh, Young and Dundas near Eaton Center. And uh, Dore, uh, about 24 hours ago, you had quite a traumatic incident happen here. Can you tell the folks uh, exactly what went down? Sure, absolutely. So um, I'm out here every every Wednesday to Saturday. I preach the gospel. I, I teach people. I, I teach people about the uh, about Jesus Christ, which is the gospel. And so yesterday I was reading uh, Sewer 4, Ayah 34, because there was a lot of women in the crowd, and that says that it it gives um, the the husband the permission to beat their wives. So when I when I said that on the mic, I got a, a lot of people started coming around, Muslims, and we we're just debating and going back and forth and then uh, uh, some security guard came out of H&M and he came out of H&M and so, so usually I have a mic and a speaker so he, first he did he tried to he tried to grab my mic and then he's like let me speak let me speak and so I, I, I moved the mic away from him I'm like no I, I don't let me speak and then so I, I kind of moved out the way to get away from him and so he tried to grab me again like pull me back so I told him like don't touch me I even told him that you, know, you can say whatever you want to say but when you touch me it's assault oh and, and Dory if you could we can just stop right there we actually have some cell phone footage so this is not a he said she said kind of thing folks let's run it now and see exactly what happened what, this, in essence this is what you're saying that the Quran is a hateful book because all I did was read the Quran. I didn't interpret it, I didn't embellish it. I read it verbatim, word for word. And everyone got upset and said, oh, you're so full of hate, you're so full of hate. So actually, what you're saying is the Quran is full of hate. But why are you arguing about the Quran? You're here to Amen. promote Christianity. Amen. Amen. No, hold on. I don't gotta let you talk. What do you want to say? You get out of here. What are you doing? Hey, hey no, calm down, calm down. Would you have call the Go ahead, call him. Yes, call him because I have every right to be here. Please educate me here. I mean, you're not on Eaton Center property. In fact, you're a good 20 feet uh, away from the mall, as uh, the regulations require. On what authority, or on whose authority, did this security guard come out here and try to shut you down and manhandle your microphone that way? Uh, no authority at all. No authority given to the by, by the government or by any um, elected officials because the police come out here often to make sure it's, to actually monitor what I say a lot. He has absolutely no authority to come out here and according to the, Car the Canadian Charters of Rights too, I have the right of religion, I have the right of expression and he was trying to stifle that right. They said that you're saying hateful things about Islam. But then I, I had to point out the fact that I was just reading the actual text. So if you, so you, 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 I had to tell them that their anger is mis, is misdirected. They shouldn't be mad at me. They should be mad at the text. And if I read a text and you believe that that text um, sponsors hate, then by essence you're saying that the Quran sponsors hate because all I did was read the text. It's a biased view. It's saying that that you know this religion, you can't talk about this religion, but you could talk about other religions. Which in in, in essence, it's Sharia law. You're saying that don't talk about Muhammad, don't talk about the Quran, but it's okay to talk about Jesus. It's okay to disrespect Christianity, but not Islam, which is which is biased, and it's uh, it's a it's a precept, or it's like a foothold to Sharia law. Now we later reached out to the Eaton Center to find out what the deal was. I asked the following questions: One, as you've stated, your client is investigating the matter at hand, but has Damien stated why he left the property to assault the street preacher in the first place? And two, how long is the investigation expected to take? And three, is Damien still on staff or is he suspended with or without pay during the course of the investigation? Number four, was there video surveillance of the altercation? If so, is this being reviewed? And five, if you're unable to speak about specific details, can you enlighten me in terms of general rules of engagement regarding security personnel and members of the public when it comes to use of force? And I received a one sentence response. Quote, it is not our policy to address individuals outside of our property line. As such, we are investigating the matter and will take the appropriate actions with our employee. End quote. Well, this latest attack on free speech just has to be addressed. We'll give the Eaton Center some time to complete its investigation and hopefully apologize to Mr. Love. Stay tuned. For the Rebel Daunt Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. If you like that Rebel video and you want Rebel Daunt Media to stay strong, 
please visit StandWithTheRebel.com.